Hello, welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're going to take a look at Fuji Dao. Now, Fuji Dao has this new Fuji Climb, which is like a gamification of their platform for a future airdrop. Now, it's pretty interesting, but before I can explain to you the Fuji Climb, I should explain to you what does this protocol do, because I have never looked at this protocol in the past. It's quite interesting. It basically says it's an auto refinancing borrow protocol. So I'm going to use a uh, a um, flowchart to explain how this works and then I'm also going to go in and talk about this climbing and these crates and these these uh, these tools and uh, the leaderboard and stuff well not so much the leaderboard but just the tools and stuff like that so you'll kind of understand everything that's going on at the end of the video and uh, that's pretty much it so if you really want to know a lot more you can come and read the doc uh, the mediums the mediums are pretty good but there's also a pretty thorough in-depth docs that you can check out that pretty much cover everything as well um, there's a little things that are missing but I think it's pretty good okay so Let's go over to the flowchart and I'll explain to you everything that I understand about Fuji Dao. Okay. Okay. So here we are on Fuji Dao and uh, we have a dollar bill here and he wants to uh, borrow some money, right? He wants, he's got Ethereum or he's got Phantom or BTC or some of these blue chip tokens and he wants to borrow some stable coins versus them, right? So he comes to Fuji. And he says, hello, Mr. Fuji, I want to, to borrow some tokens. And Fuji, Mr. Fuji is an expert. He he looks at all the different lending platforms on the different chains that uh, they are deployed on. Um, today, I'm going to use Phantom. So he, he looks at the different lending platforms that are on Phantom that are, you know, proven to be pretty safe. And he looks at them and he says, oh, which one has the lowest APY? Now, keep in mind, uh, in your mindset, that uh, the loan to value that these things offer will not be equal to the loan to value that uh, he offers because he has to he has to give a less loan to value than the, the least, like the, the smaller than the least one, right? And then he also has to like take care of liquidations and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. You won't get the same loan to value ratio. However, there's a benefit to using Mr. Fuji here. So first of all, is he's going to tell you which protocol has the best APY at the current time, or like you want the APY to be low because this is borrowing APY. It's not like interest on your your on your um, on your assets it's interest on your debt right so after a while so after you you decide to use it you you will deposit your ethereum into fuji dao and they will issue you back a fuji dao ethereum collateral token right and then they will take your ethereum and they will put it in the protocol that is currently the best one so in this case they will put it into iron bank then they will borrow some usdc because that's what you want right or die or whatever so they borrow some usdc from you from uh, iron bank for you and give it to you and they will also issue you this debt token this usdc fuji debt token and uh, you'll understand why this is important in the as I progress through this now what makes Fuji Dao good is he will continue to monitor these positions and when he sees that they change that the best one is now maybe Geist in this case or 100 but in this case Geist right then he will tell his friend Mr. Uh, uh, Rebalancer and he will uh, he will tell Rebalance Sun to please rebalance uh, dollar bills position so Rebalance Sun will take a flash loan right and then he will repay the debt. He will move the collateral over to the new position, to the new uh, protocol. And then he will borrow out that, you know, borrow out the USDC to repay that uh, flash loan. This flash loan doesn't have to come from the same protocol. It could come from, you know, Iron Bank or anywhere else in, uh, in DeFi. So he would just take a flash loan and borrow it to repay that flash loan. So now your debt is uh, on Geist because it's been moved over and maybe now your APY is lower on Geist right now it's not going to do this like for a tiny percentage change there's there you have to read the white paper it has some like factors that you will consider like is good enough to to move it and so forth okay um now another actor inside of this system another friend of Mr. Fuji is Havasta and uh, Havasta will harvest any reward tokens from these platforms. So Iron Bank sometimes has IB rewards and Geist has Geist tokens and Scream had Scream tokens. Um, 100 has a special use case where you can't get 100 tokens if you, if you are, if you, 
if you don't supply, right? They only give it to suppliers, not to borrowers, not to people who put you, uh, Ethereum in there. So there won't be 800 tokens. So Havasta will collect these for you and sell them on SpookySwap for your collateral and add to your collateral position, thereby making your position more healthy over time, right? Which is good. And then we have another actor who is a third party, somebody outside the system. He's the liquidator. So the liquidator will come along and he will look at your position and maybe you are being degenerate and you didn't put enough USDC or your, your or sorry, you didn't pay off your debt or your, your Ethereum has gone down in value and you didn't rebalance your position. So he will come along and see that you are in a bad collateral position and he will liquidate you. So he will provide USDC to FujiDAO and then FujiDAO will repay your debt with this with this USDC that's provided, extract the uh, the amount of Ethereum needed to re to make this whole, right? And then he will they will take this Ethereum, swap it on spooky swap and give him his USDC plus his liquidation bonus back. Okay. Now, this is one part I wasn't able to find a clear understanding. There's no clear math inside the Discord or inside the docs about what is the exact liquidation bonus and so forth for him. But I think it has to do with the fact that uh, his the, the LTVs are not the same, right? So the liquidation doesn't happen on these third party protocols. It happens inside the Fuji DAO system because the liquid, like I said, the loan to values are not equal, right? So. Now, onto the gamified. I told you there's a gamified system here, right? So they want to airdrop the Fuji tokens to people, but they want people to, to use the protocol in order to get it. So this is their system that they've come up with. So as long as you hold these uh, debt tokens, right, then you are gaining ruler tokens. So for each $1 of debt token you have, you gain one ruler per day. So it's a ruler point okay or like a meter point i'm calling them rulers but they call them meter points because then you can think of it like climbing a mountain so each day of one dollar you you climb the mountain one meter right now one meter is equal to one fuji bond and uh, bond it's not exactly clear but in the future the bonds will be redeemable for fuji tokens now they could be one to one they could be 100 to one i'm not sure they're basically bonds telling you in the future you will get a amount of Fuji tokens pro rata based on the total amount of Fuji tokens they plan on giving out, right? So one ruler will get you one of these bonds. Now, if you really want to play DGEN, if you want to gamify this a little bit more, you can burn some of your meter sticks, right? Your, your meter points for crates. Now there are three crates. They're of different values, right? 2000, so burn 2,000 meter points or 10,000 or 20,000 meter points and you can get a crate. Some of these crates will be empty and obviously the more expensive crates will less likely to be empty. And if you find yourself getting a tool from this crate, then this tool will act as a boost on your meter sticks in the future. Okay, now this is pretty much it. This covers the whole idea. I think this is a very good protocol. I think it's very interesting. I, I wonder if it will get useful uh, use because basically it's using the DeFi Legos that are already out there. It's using the liquidity that's already out there and putting it to good use. Um, this rebalancing thing is something that, you know, I haven't really seen a whole lot. There are some apps like uh, on Ethereum, uh, Instadap was able to do something like this, but it was very convoluted like you would have to give it permission to access your your positions and rebalance and it, it was it wasn't very fun to use i remember but this one is all being done inside the fuji app so you open your position inside the fuji app instead of opening on another dap and and linking it to this instadap thing and so forth i like this gamification because you know people are trying to figure out different ways to give out the tokens right like usually there's no gamification to it usually it's just like oh you use our protocol and we'll take some random snapshot and if you you succeed on that snapshot or if you if you're inside that snapshot you get some tokens or i think that the more and more and more we we, we have these dpa legos already here the more we can kind of design new systems where you know we make it more gamified and more fun for users to actually take part in DeFi and and 
and you know build and put to use some of these like like uh money legos that are already inside DeFi. so i think it pretty much covers uh this video so um you can like i say you can come and check it out you can go to the the dap here and click around and stuff like that and figure out how to use it um, i'll leave that to you and uh, and that's pretty much it so i hope this has been useful and thank you so much for watching and goodbye